KM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Hello, everyone, and welcome to HCAM News Live. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching out there. I'm HCAM News Director Tom Nappy. And on this special edition of HCAM News, we're going to look back at a couple of great Thanksgiving traditions in Hopkinton, including a whole lot of Hillers versus Ashland football. We'll look back at some of the classic Thanksgiving games. And also, we are going to start off with a look back at the 2019 Top of the Hill ceremony. Now, every other year, former assistant principal at Hopkinton High School, and as of this year, principal over at Franklin High School, Josh Hanna, along with the help of Hopkinton High School staff, hosted the Top of the Hill ceremony to recognize Hopkinton High School alumni that have made a difference in their communities. Here's a look back at the 2019 ceremony as some wonderful Hopkinton High School alumni were recognized. The Hopkinton High School Top of the Hill program honored five Hillers alumni with their annual Top of the Hill ceremony in the evening. During the day, the five honorees had an opportunity to talk to some of the classes at Hopkinton High School. And I got to go to Hopkinton High School and then prep school and colleges. We're so privileged here. In the evening, the Top of the Hill ceremony took place. Dr. Lynch is certified with the American Board of Radiology and is a member of the American College of Radiology. And I remember feeling guilty um, in the days and hours and even months after that injury that I let them down and I wouldn't be available to help them out. So it wasn't so much my feeling sorry for myself as it was um, feeling like I was letting my, my team members down. She's played a big role in the growth of the town through the positions she's held. Starting with a part-time position as a bank teller, she was recruited to work full-time at the town of Hopkinton Water Department in 1981, from, where, from which she retired in 2015. All right, how was it to be back at Hopkinton High School today and have a chance to talk to the students? It was great, and they were so nice and polite and asked good questions, and I really enjoyed it, yeah. And how did it feel to get the call uh, for the that you're getting honored today? I was nervous. I said, why did they call me? <laughs> but then I got, after I thought about it a while, I said, oh, that, that's an honor, so... I, I usually don't like to talk about myself too much, so. <laughs> she has made a significant impact on not only our community, but those all across New England. We'd like to recognize her for her achievements and exemplification of what it means to be a hero. Designing and managing nurse-run medication system treatment programs for opioid and alcohol use disorders, and providing psychiatric care at community health centers in multiple languages. It was great to be back at, at uh, HHS. It's been a, a while since I've been back, 
and uh, the students were great. It was a great opportunity to uh, speak with them and, and uh, hear their stories and, and share mine and, and hopefully answer some questions and, and they were all just uh, they were great kids. And how did it feel when you got the call that you were getting an award today for the Top of the Hill program? It was a great, uh, great feeling, great honor. Um, Josh, Hannah had uh, contacted me a couple months ago, and so I was surprised to, to see that and, and shocked and, and humbled and honored all at the same time. So it was a, it was a great honor to be here. And I have to ask, because I saw you talking to the uh, Spanish class today, how many different languages do you speak? <laughs> Oh, not barely English. I think that is the accurate answer to that. But uh, I think a few different ones. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. It was a terrific gift to get to reflect with the students and share about uh, just how much has changed in the school, how many even more opportunities are available, and to share a little bit about the work we do serving people with uh, communication disabilities and the kids in Brazil that we're partnering with and their families. So they were real receptive and we had a lot of good laughs, so that part was fun. And then there was a real serious part where I'm here with my daughter Madeline and uh, we just feel so lucky to have all that we have and uh, we want to recognize how much privilege we have and be thankful for um, all we have. It was. Uh, really highlighted by during the school day the power went out and they started making announcements about lunch and how they're going to bring in food from the elementary schools and you know these are high schoolers who have more than enough food all the time and uh, it was ironic and, and kind of fun that they were going to bring pizzas and order pizzas and such um, so overall it was a terrific time getting to spend time with Dr. Lynch uh, one of the inductees was incredible hearing his story about becoming a medical doctor and um, and then uh, Jean Scarletta, who graduated from the original high school or one of the early high schools, was so fun. And, um, Matt Ellum and uh, Missy McDonald, it was really fun to see them again and share in their success. It was terrific. And uh, when you got the call that you are going to be honored today in the Top of the Hill program, how'd that feel? Oh, it was so humbling. It just made me feel thankful that uh, I get to share about what Hopkinton gave to me and that it also made me think and feel sad about my friend uh, Rory Horton who's a beautiful artist who uh, I met an artist today in the school uh, she, she was sitting here actually in this seat um, or right around this seat and uh, she seemed pretty disillusioned like my friend Rory was in high school but uh, she had a gift with art we talked about it and uh, I told her a story about this guy Mike Madas who Steve Jobs hired who I don't believe he finished high school but he had a brilliant gift with design and so uh, these things come around full circle and uh, these stories it's a gift to get to tell my story and how I had to overcome adversity and the resilience of the human spirit I'm just so thankful to have a soul that grew up in Hopkinton and uh, all the love. I'm looking over, my mother just came over here, so it's fun to uh, celebrate with family and uh, appreciate what we have. Thank you. We certainly hope the wonderful Top of the Hill program will continue on in the future. It is always great catching up with Hopkinton Hillers alumni that have made a difference in their communities. We are going to take a short break. When we come back, we look back at some great Thanksgiving battles on the gridiron between Hopkinton and Ashland. And we'll talk about your favorite Thanksgiving side dishes and tell you about some cool events coming up in the community. A whole lot more ahead. Stick around. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance.
Welcome back to HCAM News. Unfortunately, this year there will be no Thanksgiving football due to the pandemic. But let's take a look back at the good times and one of the oldest Turkey Day football rivalries there is throughout the state, Hopkinton and Ashland. We start off with highlights from last year's game, which was the 96th annual Turkey Day meeting between the Crosstown rivals. Here's a look back at some great Hopkinton Hillers football Thanksgiving memories. Hopkinton battled Ashland Varsity Football in their annual Thanksgiving Classic. Ashland would play the starters at the beginning of the game, but ended up benching them since they will be heading to the Division VI Super Bowl to take on Bishop Fenwick at Gillette Stadium. The Senior Day festivities took place prior to the game. For the seniors on your Hopkinton Varsity Football team, starting with Robbie Bernardin, his parents Paul, Janine, and his brothers Tommy and Matthew. So we got Aubrey Doyle, Aubrey Doyle Sr. being uh, shown on the on the camera here, I down in the end I zone. I can see him down in the end zone, yeah, the, the know-all. Ashland struck first after a big pass. Kavanaugh back to pass, he's looking deep down the field into the he's middle, open. and he's caught, and Pereira in pr pursuit, and he's going to miss the tackle, and he gets down the right sideline, and it's Brandon Grover going over 80 yards, 83 yards for the... A run into the end zone, and the extra point made it seven to nothing. Cuts his way, and he's into the end zone. And Lopez, five yard run. There's your first score of the game, Don. The Hillers struck back a few minutes later with a touchdown of their own by Cole Salyards, and the extra point tied it at seven. Then later in the second quarter, a 17 yard run by Robbie Bernardin. Bernardin. The option again, fakes the pitch, cuts straight it up, and he gets down. And he's going to be into the end zone. Bernardin with a 17-yard run at 2.17 in the second quarter. It was 13-7 Hillers at the half. And he throws it in the middle of the field, and it's caught by Mulvaney. Cuts across the field. He's going to be in for the touchdown. A 29-yard touchdown pass from Bernardin to Mulvaney. In the third quarter, Bernardin connects with Cam Mulvaney for a 29-yard touchdown. The extra point was good, 20-7 Hillers. In the fourth quarter, the Hillers added another touchdown on a Robbie Bernardin Max Lakasha connection, and Hopkinton would take the win, 26-7. The Hopkinton Hillers finished the season with five wins and six losses. Congratulations to the Hillers on a great season and best of luck to the Ashland Clockers in the Division VI State Championship. It was an extremely cold morning, but that did not stop Ashland and Hopkinton for meeting up for the 95th time on Thanksgiving. First offensive snap of the game couldn't have gone any better for Ashland. Jackson Hornum connects with Nathan Sickles, who takes it to the house for a 70-yard touchdown. The extra point was no good. Score remains 6-0 Ashland. The Hillers respond in the second quarter. A 28-yard touchdown from Ryan Kelleher to Brendan Kelly evens up the score. The Brendan Kelly extra point puts the Hillers up by one. In the third quarter, the Hillers strike again with some trickery. Three backs lined up, and he pitches to Deloya, who's going to look to throw back. Wide open, beautiful play, and Ryan Kelleher. Ryan Kelleher can throw four touchdowns, and he can catch them. The extra point was good, and it makes it 14-6 Hillers. The Hillers struck once again in the third quarter. As he fakes the uh, handoff. Oh wow, what a what a catch. Brendan Kelly again going to the ground. Brendan Kelly makes an insane catch for his second touchdown of the game. 
and he then kicks another successful extra point to make it 21 to 6 and that is how the score would stay the rest of the way. The Hopkinton Hillers finish the season with 7 wins and 4 losses overall while Ashland finishes with 8 wins and 3 losses. Congratulations on a great season to the 2018 Hopkinton Hillers football team. For the 94th time, the Hopkinton Hillers met up with the Ashland Clockers for Thanksgiving Day football. A new tradition started this year as members of the Ashland and Hopkinton cross country team ran all the way from Ashland High School to David M. Hughes Stadium to deliver the game ball. The first points of the game came in the second quarter. A pitch to Will Abbott, and he finds the end zone from a few yards out. The extra point makes it 7 to nothing Hillers. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half. A high snap on the Ashland punt, and Connor Hebert makes the tackle for the safety, and the Hillers take the 9 to nothing lead into the halftime locker room. Third quarter, 6.57 left. The Hillers turn it over at the three, and Ashland takes advantage of the situation. Lofting pass. Oh, oh, number 13. Down the sideline, he's going. He's going to make it all the way. Abbott's got an angle. He's at the 10, and he's not able to get him. That's all the way down for a 97-yard touchdown by number 13, Nathan Sickles. 97 yards on the touchdown receipt. Reception. Later in the quarter, Ashland punting and uh-oh, another high snap leads to another safety. And the Hillers go up by four, and that is how the score would stay. The Hillers end their historic 2017 season with a record of 11 and 1 and take the victory by a final of 11 to 7. The 5-5 five five Hopkinton Hillers met up with the 5-5 five five Ashland Clockers for the 92nd Thanksgiving rivalry game. First quarter, Colin Hanrahan gets things started for Ashland as he takes the handoff from about the 25 yard line and plummets ahead for the score. Extra point was good, making it seven nothing Ashland. Hillers threaten to even out the score as Sam Lehman rushes from the 15 and gets inside the five. Hillers were pushed back due to penalties. So what does Sam Lehman do? He sets the Hillers up around the one yard line and then Hands off to Lehman. Lehman squirts forward and he is touchdown. in for a touchdown. On the conversion attempt, Jake Keller takes the quick snap and runs through open field right into the end zone to make it 8-7 to seven Hillers. Second quarter, Colin Hanrahan responds, slipping through tackles and forces himself ahead for 13 yards and to make it 13 points for Ashland. Extra point was good, making it 14-8 Ashland. Jake Keller responds, firing a 53-yard bomb to Jack Vaccari to tie up the game. Hillers kick the extra point and lead 15-14. Ashland wasn't going away, though. Later in the second quarter, Mitch Porter connects with Max Feinberg to move Ashland up to the 27-yard line. Then a few plays later, Porter with the fake and boom! finds Seamus Reardon in the end zone. Extra point good, clockers up 21 to 15. Ashland would get the ball back once again in the second quarter, and Mitch Porter finds Joe Schelling for a 25 yard reception. And then Colin Hanrahan finds the end zone for his third time of the day and makes it 28 to 15 clockers after the extra point. Jake Keller responds as he finds Jack Vaccari for the second time in the end zone for the 25-yard touchdown pass. Go throw, Keller pump fakes, now he throws. He's got a man open, it's Vaccari, and he has him for a touchdown! Jack Vaccari from 22 yards out, and the Hillers answer. The extra point puts the Hillers within six. It was 28-22 clockers at the half. Third quarter was mostly a defensive battle, Jay Keller, though, continued his role and launches a 37-yard touchdown pass right into the arms of Will Abbott. The Hillers got the extra point and take a 29-28 lead. There's a throw to the middle of the field and wide open is Abbott for the touchdown! Later in the third quarter, Joe Kirkak 
returned the lead to the Clockers as he buried a 27-yard field goal to make it a 31-29 game. About three minutes left to go in the game. The Hillers positioned at the Clockers 23. Jake Keller fires down the left side of the field and right over a defender to Will Abbott who takes it all the way into the end zone and puts the Hillers up 35 to 31. For the middle and he has, and he hits oh! Abbott! Abbott gets it! He's at the 20, the 10, and he is in for a touchdown! And the Hillers take the lead! Hillers later in the fourth took an intentional safety to set up the kickoff. The Ashland Clockers now on their last play. A swing pass followed by a lateral and then out of bounds and the Hopkinton Hillers take a wild Thanksgiving showdown, 35 to 33. Hopkinton and Ashland met on Thanksgiving morning for the 91st time in the home of the Clockers. Snow fell through the previous night into the morning making the field a sloppy wet mess which meant for a very defensive game first drive of the game pat ryan eludes a couple of defenders and completes to hayden pereira who was forced out of bounds at around the ashland 45 yard line then a few plays later jake keller at quarterback pat ryan spread to the left pat ryan catches the football the Ashland defense stepped it up, however. Drew Donahue stuffed here for a loss. Then Jay Keller sacked. The Clockers defense get the job done and keep the game scoreless. On Ashland's possession, quarterback Mitch Porter finds Philip Cooper under pressure and Cooper turns on the Jets and breaks into Hiller's territory. Colin Hanrahan then sets up Ashland nicely within the Hillers 20 yard line heading to the second quarter. Ashland keeps the charge going with this great catch by Max Feinberg. He says he was in bounds and so does the official a first and goal for Ashland. Then a Hopkinton pass interference call sets up this Mitch Porter touchdown to make it a six to nothing game. A Joe Kirkak extra point put the clockers up seven with 816 left in the first half. After the Ashland touchdown, both defenses went back and forth, forcing punts. But then in the fourth quarter, Pat Ryan goes to Matt Decina here for the first down. And then later in the drive, Pat Ryan connects with Matt Decina for the touchdown. Hillers, an extra point away from tying the game. Problem was, they were still an extra point away from tying. The Hillers said, you know what? It's Thanksgiving. Let's go for the conversion. Ryan takes a snap and throws it incomplete. 6.56 left to go in the game. Ashland up on Hopkinton, 7-6. The Hillers then go for the onside kick, but Ashland scoops it up and has the football with great field position. Ashland moved the chains a couple times, but the Hillers' defense bent but did not break. They forced the turnover on downs. Hillers get the ball at their own 30 with 2.24 left to go in the game. Keller to Pat Ryan. Oh, off of Ryan's hands and the Clockers have the interception. Ashland has a chance to end it here with just a first down. All they need is about a yard, but oh no, Colin Hanrahan jumps and pushes the Clockers back five. Clockers here for the knockout punch and it's incomplete. Hillers get the ball back. Drew Donahue takes a little pass here and some good footwork leads to the Hillers first down. Keller then has a big completion of Pat Ryan. Hillers get quickly back to the line. Keller this time finds Pereira inside the 10 yard line and the Hillers are in business. A flag pushed the Hillers back. So now it was about a 31 yard field goal try for Adam Giordano. This is for the lead. Snap, spot, kick. And it's going to be. And it's good. 9 to 7, Hopkinton, with not a lot of time left. Hillers kick off, and Ashland is hoping for a miracle. Lateral followed by lateral, but Hopkinton special teams come through and secure the 9 7 victory. The Hillers finish the season 5 and 6, Ashland 6 and 5. Some tremendous Thanksgiving Day battles between the Crosstown rivals, and we hope 
to add on to the Thanksgiving Day history between Hopkinton and Ashland in 2021. Speaking of Thanksgiving, we recently asked you, what were some of your favorite Thanksgiving Day side dishes? And we got some great responses. Let's take a look at those responses. Your favorite Thanksgiving Day side dish, Sharon Marie said, alcohol. Well, that's always a good one. Uh, Steve Watson said, cornbread casserole. That sounds delicious. I would love to uh, try some cornbread casserole. Can't say that I've had uh, Connie says scalloped oysters and crystal, uh, mashed potatoes and a nice funny picture there of a woman coming out on a stick of butter, mashed potatoes, certainly one of my favorites as well. Keeping things moving right along. Some things you should know. The Hopkinton hangout hour will continue on next Monday at 2 PM. So be sure to tune in H cam sports talk live. You can catch HCAM Sports Talk Live every Wednesday at 3 p.m. And, of course, HCAM News Live every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And uh, The Gathering, that will uh, return next week. We'll have a new episode of The Gathering. And then, of course, keep moving Fridays at 10 a.m. And we have our combined Christian at church services Sundays at 10.30 a.m. A great event coming up. Courtesy of Hopkinton Drug and Hopkinton Card and Gift. It will be their 32nd annual holiday open house. And it's going to happen on Saturday, December 5th. They'll still have uh, all the great festivities that they normally have. They'll have a visit from Santa, virtual visits from Santa. They'll have story time. They'll have some caroling. They'll have some music. You can find all the details about the 32nd annual holiday open house, uh, courtesy of Hopkinton Drug and Hopkinton Carding Gift on our website, hcam.tv. But again, that'll take place on Saturday, December 5th. There'll also be some festivities Tuesday, December 8th, Thursday, December 10th. Monday, December 14th, Wednesday, December 16th, and Sunday, December 20th. Also, some other community events that you should know about. The Arts in Bloom display over at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts goes until December 19th over in the Lotvin Gallery. And then also at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts on Saturday, December 5th from 3 to 4 p.m. They'll have a one-hour workshop which will allow you uh, to make some cards. So that'll be a virtual workshop on Saturday, December 5th. And the Hopkinton Women's Club, they are selling all kinds of great stuff to raise money for their scholarship fund. You can find more information at their website, hopkintonwomensclub.org. And this is our picture of the week, courtesy of Mike Terosian. Every year, the Hopkinton Hillers baseball team helps the uh, Boy and Girl Scouts unload the Christmas trees in the CVS parking lot. Of course, they'll have their annual Christmas tree sale there. And the Hillers baseball team just doing what they do annually, helping unload those Christmas trees. And they certainly did a great job. And uh, the holiday spirit certainly in the air when you see all the Christmas trees getting dropped off at the CVS parking lot. And don't forget a bunch of Hopkinton government meetings are coming up on, and you can catch many of them live on HCAM on Monday, November 30th at 7 PM. We'll have the planning board live on HCAM TV on Tuesday, December 1st at 6 PM. We'll have the select board live on HCAM TV and then on Thursday, December 3rd at 7 p.m., you can catch the school committee on HCAM Ed. And, of course, you can find a list of all the town government meetings over at the town website, hopkintonma.gov. Believe it or not, we are out of time for this edition of HCAM News Live. Don't worry, next Thursday at 6.30 p.m., we will be back. So we hope that you all out there enjoyed your Thanksgiving Day festivities, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And as always, thanks again for tuning in. From all of us at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy, and we wish all of you out there a very happy Thanksgiving. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good night, everybody.